welcome everyone. Um, this is going to be our first episode of our uh, FPS series. Um, here I show, I'm showing you guys the FPS that we're going to be working on today. Um, we're not going to do all this in one video, obviously, uh, but we, are, we will be doing the basics. Uh, there's no complex art. You can see the shadow of the player. It's just a capsule. Um, so we'll allow for simple movement. Um, go right, left, whatever. Uh, we can jump and there's also a camera that we can move around and we'll also learn how to push our mouse into the game and not have it like movable like that so let me just stop that game awesome let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our default block so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a static body as the default one i'm going to save this as block let me just adjust my mic there um, and then we're going to actually save this in our main world. Uh, I'll actually I'll make a folder for it and I'll say objects. And I'll put this block in objects. And in our ob block, we're going to need two things. We're going to need collision shape. And then we're also going to need a mesh instance. This is going to be the sprite that we're going to make, basically. In our shape, we're going to make a block. Where is it? There it is. And then mesh instance. Again, same thing. We're going to make a new mesh block. And that's it. We're just going to leave it like this. I'm going to name it block so that way it's named block um, and then in our world this will be simple um, one thing to keep in mind is when you drag things into your screen the position changes depending on where I dragged it right so if I go into the block and I look at the transform the position is really far away from the center so either you can do that or you can just drag it into the main scene like that and then I'll make it centered so now we're just gonna adjust the block to be become like our floor. So to do that, there's a lot of different options on the top. So here, as you can see, we can now move it. Um, this is the default. You can, in fact, use these and move it as well. Um, this should rotate it. I'm not going to rotate it. This one gives us default stuff. Um, in order to resize it, we need to click this guy on the top, the scale mode, or R, I guess. And we're just going to scale it. I'm going to scale it relatively wide. Whoop, not that wide to become kind of a floor. And you can scale it slightly smaller if you want. Depends on how thick you want it. It doesn't really matter to me. So I'm just gonna scale it that way. And now we have our floor, which is going to be scaled as you can see. Um, now let's create our uh, player. So the, our player is gonna be, ooh, don't want that. Uh, our player is gonna be quite interesting because, actually we'll just get into it and then I'll explain. So this is gonna be our player, which is 3D. It's pretty normal. It's a very similar process to 2D if you've done this before. So I'm going to save this in our player folder. And again, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to need a mesh instance. And then we're also going to need a collision shape. And for this one, we're going to make a capsule. So the shape, we're going to make a capsule. And then we're going to go here and say boop, boop, boop. capsule. There it is. And for our player, I'm just going to, I'm not going to resize him. I'm going to move him up a little bit. So that way he's kind of above the, I think that's the Y axis. I'm not 100% sure. I think the blue is Y, but um, actually I can check, I think. Blue is Z, no. Okay, I don't know how to check, but uh, anyways, the blue axis, we want it to be above the blue and red axis. Um, and then let's go at our script. And amazingly enough, Godot 4, because uh, that's what I'm using, now allows us for basic movement um, for built-in script. So I'm going to just use that template and create it. Awesome. So I now have a nice little template here. It's very similar to 2D. So let's just quickly go through it. Um, because it is very similar to 2D, we're just now looking at the Z axis as well, right? So if you were to look at 2D, we would have everything the same except for these two lines. Um, I believe everything is the same. So these two are exactly the same. We're just jumping from the Y axis, right, with our velocity. The gravity, jump speed, all that is obviously a little slower than it would be 2D, um, but that's okay. Um, input direction, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna have up, right, left, down. Um, direction is gonna be the same, but it's gonna be vector three, because now we have three different directions. Um, and then, and then that's, that's what we're gonna do in direction. So if direction is happening, then we're just gonna move in one of those directions, right? Otherwise, that's, and then we move, right? And then we're gonna move and slide with the new Godot 4 system. So in our main scene, let's add our player. Let's add it right there. Let's go to our block actually, and I'm gonna move my block down just a bit. Uh, not that low, I'm gonna move it up. And then I'm gonna take our player, and I'm gonna move him up so he's not stuck on the floor. So now when I play, I'm gonna select current, 
And as you can see, nothing happens. Um, and that's because we have no camera. So we need to add a camera to our player. So let's add a camera to our player. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna add a 3D node. I'm gonna rename this to head. I'm gonna have our camera in the head and I'm gonna move this up a little bit. And then now in our main scene, I should be able to launch and I should be able to move if I use the arrow keys, as you can see. And if I walk off the edge, I should just fall. Cool. Um, now let's figure out how to actually move the camera. So in our script, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make our, we're gonna have a ready function. And in this ready function, we're gonna set our mouse into the game. So as you could see, when I played, I'm gonna pass right now. So when I play, the mouse is still like around. I don't want the mouse to be around. I want it to be kind of like in Valorant where my mouse gets pushed into the game. So to do that, um, it's very simple. It's just mouse dot mouse. Is it mouse mode? Yeah, mouse mode equals input mouse captured. Mouse mode captured. Yeah, that's the one. And now if I play, it becomes inside. And to get out, I'm just going to alt four uh, or not alt four, uh, alt tab. And let's add a space there. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to check for input. Input. And in our input, um, we're going to check if the mouse moves. So now we're going to try to move the camera depending on if our mouse moves. So we're just going to say if uh, event is what's it? input event action mouse action is event mouse motion, sorry. Then we will rotate. So we're going to say rotation dot y is minus equal event dot relative dot x divided by um, mouse sensitivity, which we're going to actually sensibility, sorry, sensibility, which we will make in a second. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to, yeah, let's make it right now. I'm just going to copy this over. In fact, I'm going to copy over the other two things that we need. We're going to need mouse relativity, whoops, mouse relative, relative X and mouse relative Y. We're going to set those both to zero by default. And then let's play around. So this is just to set the rotation of our player itself. So now let's actually uh, rotate the camera. So we're going to say at head slash camera dot rotation dot X rotation. I'm going to copy paste that so I don't get an error. Rotation dot X um, minus equals event dot Y. Nope, sorry, dot relative dot Y. And then we're going to divide that by mouse sensibility. And then we're going to copy paste this over. I'm going to copy this line. And I'm just going to say dot X is it's going to be equal to not minus, we're going to clamp it. We're going to clamp the rotation, we're going to copy this guy over here, we're going to clamp the rotation dot X. Right, let me check the rotation dot X. And then we're going to have, oops, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, degree to radius minus 90. And then I'm just going to delete all that. Oops. Ah, I can't type. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, and then we need one more there. And then one more input. We're just going to have degree to radius, but this time it's going to be 90. Oops, just 90, not negative 90. Um, and that should be it. Okay, no error. Awesome. Uh, last line, we need to, or two lines, we need to now change the mouse relative X and the mouse relative Y. Um, for the X, we're just going to clamp it. I'm going to just copy this over. Clamp. For the clamp here, though, what we're going to clamp is the event dot relative I'm just going to copy it, the relative dot X, and we're going to do that between negative 50, take that out, and 50. There we go. And now I can just copy paste this, except we're not going to do the X, we're going to do the Y for this one, because that's the Y position there. And I think that should be it. Let me just double check. Okay, let's give it a try. So now I play. 
And now I can move my mouse freely. And I can now move around and I can kind of look over the edge. And if I fall, I can look up and I can now move around or I can move my camera around. I can see the thing falling. Okay, and that's, I think, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, we didn't go over too much. Um, or we didn't do too much. We just kind of inputted our mouse. Um, we allowed for our mouse to move. Um, or sorry, not our mouse. Well, I guess our mouse. Um, our mouse moving in the sense of the camera. Um, what else? And we made two mesh objects, uh, our player and our block. Um, so this is, I th hopefully this is a good intro to 3D. Um, hopefully you guys kind of learned something. Um, I'm still learning as I'm going along. So hopefully the explanations will be a little off sometimes or not as good, I would say. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe, comment down below what you guys want to see next. Um, I will be doing a probably shooting in the next video. So we'll do bullets and gun maybe. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see in this series and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.